Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Christine and today I'd like to talk about walking. So if you're new here, this is where I talk about um, all things creative, making things, as well as simple living and health and wellness, specifically walking and hiking, which is why I'm walking as I talk about walking. I'd like to talk about the benefits of and how transformative walking has been in my life and also why we should walk, why everyone should walk, and how to get started on a kind of walking habit and if you already have that habit how to keep it interesting one of the things i want to say is that it's not a complicated thing to get walking and it will make a huge difference in your life so first i would say to make a commitment to 15 minutes a day just start easy 15 minutes but the key is consistency so every day 15 minutes every day for let's say a week just try it for one week um, people say I don't have time and certainly that happens to me too but I have this little trick that I do and I change up the wording so um, health and fitness and being good to myself is important but I don't have time really what I say to myself is I guess that's not a priority. My fitness and my health is not a priority. That's really what we're saying when we say, I don't have time. I have time to go on social media. I do watch YouTube and a lot of other things that I enjoy doing and I'm not knocking them. But it is true that we make decisions about how we spend our time. And I think after a week of doing it for just 15 minutes though of course if you want to do more that's a good idea um, let's say half an hour what do you do today that you would normally do for half an hour that you couldn't spare um, or that you could spare I guess and do that and walk instead of doing that and see after a week how you feel I almost would put money on it if I were a betting person um, that within a week you will be feeling a lot better and be happy that you've been walking. The second thing I would say is don't make it hard. Get really prepared. So the day before, think about where you're going to walk and how long and get all your clothes and things ready for it and get it set up and then commit to a time. So, um, so that at the last minute you're not running around kind of looking for things. Just get it all planned out and let's say for example, I walk at 2 o'clock generally in the afternoon um, and I know if you're working it's different obviously but when I, walk, when I worked and I walked what I would do is do it before work or if I didn't get to do it before work I would do it at the end of the day but I would do it right when I finished work. I wouldn't go in the house and get all red, you know, kind of like um, undressed and everything because then it's hard to get going again so just you get out of your car and you go walk or you leave work and you walk 15 minutes I mean it's 15 minutes everyone can do 15 minutes one of the things I really like about walking too is how it gives me clarity I've worked through so many things in my life after a long walk or through a long walk and it's such a simple, easy way to improve your life and it's free, which I'm very frugal, so I appreciate that. Um, and so transformative, a uh, good way to spend time with friends as well as yourself. So in closing, I will just say that I hope I can inspire you with this little talk to go out and go for a walk, hopefully out in nature, and if not, just around the block, go on your lunch hour, go in the morning, go anytime you can spare a few minutes 
make a commitment to yourself. You deserve it and have a happy winter. Till next time, stay well.